But what's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about five undeniable reasons why you need to visit Bali with kids. I'm Tina from Hungry by Nature and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and stay up to date with all our latest family friendly travel videos. So we're gonna be talking about what the best thing about Bali is, the top things to do in Bali, food, a place for all budgets and value for money. Now let's get into it. Fetch me my pina colada. Where's the sun? No, right, we're in Australia. Mm -hmm. Bali has so many wonderful accommodation options from villas to resorts, hotels, guest houses, apartments, you name it, they've got it. It really is the perfect place to go if you want to escape reality and get a slice of paradise. Most hotels, resorts, and villas have amazing pools kids' facilities, food, massages. <sighs> I'm frothing just thinking about it, actually. <laughs> and of course, you've also got the beautiful coast and beaches. And for spirituality lovers, there's Ubud, where you have beautiful views of the rainforest, tropical, lush rainforest for as far as the eye can see, as well as beautiful rice terraces. there's activities and attractions for both kids and adults alike. Plus, the locals are so friendly. The serv some of the service that you get in Bali is just unsurpassed. In saying that, there are locals out there that will try and take advantage of tourists, <coughs> taxi drivers, beware of those. But as a whole, the locals are super friendly, really genuine, and always somehow have a smile on their face. Something that we need to learn from. The rest of the world needs to learn. Um, the Western world maybe needs to learn from. Bali is also a place of spirituality and culture. There's really something to be found in Bali for everyone. So whether you're an adventure lover, a romantic traveler, you just want to chill, you've got kids, you're there for the food, culture, or you just want to kick back on the beach and get some vitamin D in ya, Bali's got it all. Guys, there's a ton of attractions in Bali for kids and adults alike. To name a few, you've got the Ubud Monkey Forest, you've got the Bali Zoo, the Bali Night Safari, Bali Water Bomb, temples, waterfalls, volcanoes. What am I up to? Beaches, water rafting, quad biking. There's so much to do in Bali. You'll never run out of stuff to do. For sure, you're guaranteed you're gonna be back in Bali to do more. For a breakdown of entry prices to some of these attractions, make sure you take a look at our blog article where we break down all the costs in the description below. What would travel be without different cuisines? Nothing. I wouldn't even be motivated to go traveling if it wasn't for food, to be honest. There are so many food options in Bali, and the best thing about it is you can go eat in, you can take away, or you can even get it delivered to you using Gojek. And there's all sorts of food options for the whole family. So if your kids haven't adapted to the local cuisine yet, there's Western food options, there's of course Balinese local cuisine as well, and many others like Japanese, burgers, pizza, pasta, you're guaranteed to find everything there. And one thing you guys have to try in Bali is 
the brunch cafes. They are absolutely amazing, so delicious. Smoothie bowls, guys. Try the smoothie bowls. So good. If you are a fan of ribs like Andy is, try Naughty Yuri's. There's one in Ubud and one in Seminyak. So good. And of course, you know, for families traveling, if your kids get grumpy in the evening, the best thing is that you can download the Gojek app and have food delivered to your villa, hotel or resort for like under $2 delivery. So worth it. What you can't miss out on is the scrumptious Balinese cuisine. Try the Babi Guli, which is a suckling pig. Bebek Batutu, which is a slow cooked duck. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, mouth wide or something. That was meant to like represent delicious. Satay skewers, which a lot of kids love. There's grilled fish, seafood, so many yummy local options. Accommodation. And of course, that's what makes Bali so, so affordable because there's such a wide variety of choice for all budgets. There's high-end villas and there's also budget villas. We've got guest houses, hotels, Airbnbs, and of course your five-star resorts. For more on accommodation costs and how much we paid for our villa, resort and apartment, check out our video here. When in Bali, you guys have to try the villa experience. It is amazing. It was actually our first time in a villa and it's been a special memory that has stayed with us for a long time. So lovely, so caring, and pretty much can organize everything for you, down to your meals. And the breakfast is freshly cooked and so delicious. You guys just have to stay in a villa. The experience, the kids, you know, the pool just right there, it's the best thing. It's literally house goals. Now, if you plan to go to Bali during peak season, which is usually December and January and July and August, be sure to book well in advance, six months or more in advance. I mean, there's always gonna be other options available later down the line, but they just may not have been your first choice. Bali is so popular amongst travelers because of the beautiful scenery, the locals, the food, and so much more. Just everything that there is to do there. And it's also one of the places where you can get the best value for your money, especially if you're coming from a Western country. What you might normally pay in accommodation back at home, you will receive back in twofold in the facilities and service that you get at these places. And for the most part, I mean, two nights at like a five star hotel back in Australia will give you like one week in a villa in Bali. One brunch dish in Melbourne, back home in Australia, equates to feeding the whole family in Bali. So put that into perspective. Plus, the portion sizes in Bali can be very generous, and of course, the taste, I'm gonna say it, can be better. Because the beauty of it is that all the food is really fresh in Bali. And of course, you can shop at markets where you can get your haggle on and get some really good bargains on souvenirs and trinkets and even clothes as well. I mean, you can't beat a one hour massage for $10, except for in Thailand. And that's it, guys. Those were the top five reasons why you need to visit Bali with kids right now. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful for planning your next family holiday to Bali, or if that inspired you to go to Bali, make sure you please give this video some love by hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more family friendly content like this. And comment below because I'd like to know, this is a big debate. Which would you prefer as a budget holiday. Bali or Thailand, places like Phuket or Koh Samui. Because these places get compared a lot and I'd like to know, and we've been to both and we love both places, but they are also very different. What's your preference? Thailand, Bali. Let us know in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you on the flip side. Hala. Angry, hungry. Yes, I'm angry. Me